What's going on all you gamers? Here we are in Destiny 2 Beyond Light and today we're going to be covering how you can get your hands on Bright Dust. So if you need some of that Bright Dust to kind of get yourself some nice cosmetics then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls. So yeah, there's been a few small changes since um, since the last season as such. And the main two are pretty much the fact that you've had one kind of a little bit of a nerf in what you can acquire from the bounties as such. And it's kind of gone down by half. So now they go down to 100 instead of 200. So I think the community might be in a bit of an uproar about that. But there is another way and you can kind of get it paid and unpaid as such and that is just over here in the season pass now if you have a little look as you make your way along the top run you'll notice that you actually earn bright dust pretty much as you go and you don't actually have to worry too much because you can get it on the free side so the top side is the free bit and the bottom side is the paid for season pass. So on the top you've got 200 there, 250 at 19, 300 at 29, 400 at 40, 500 at 50, 650, much 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 later so as you can see you can earn quite a lot just by actually playing the game and kind of claiming it as you go now what i'll do is i'll add up the bottom bit because i haven't added it up as such because i'm a bit of a donut and i'll add up the top and just tell you how much you can actually get in total so after some quick maths also known as using the calculator i've worked out you can get 7500 bright dust on the top path which is the free side, and you only get 3,000 on the bottom. So in total, if you have actually paid for a season pass, you'll be getting 10,500, which is quite good. It will allow you to actually get quite a few things from the actual Bright Dust store. Another way to get Bright Dust is for you to go to your vendors. So for example, this fella right here, Zavala, who is your Titan Vanguard, aka your Vanguard Strikes. He has weekly bounties just here that reward you Bright Dust. Now I've not completed these just yet, but from what I've been told, they've gone down in value from 200 to 100 each. Now obviously these are weekly, so you can do two of them a week, and I believe it's per actual vendor. So it should be him, your Crucible vendor just over here, And it should also be your Gambit vendor. If you wanted to actually get a little more Bright Dust, which to be perfectly honest, I probably wouldn't do this myself. What you could do is you could kind of change over and use your second and third characters to do the weekly, which isn't a bad chat, that one's fine. Or you could run these, which just at the end here, if you have a little look, these ones are your additional bounties and as such they're kind of um, kind of repeatable kind of bounties that you can perform uh, but they only reward really really low bright dust. If memory serves I think it's like 10 or 20 but I believe it's 10 so it's very very low. It's something you'll do to kind of add on if you are already doing the activity or you could do it if you were really close to something that you needed bright dust wise. Say you only needed 50 or 100, it may well be worth doing. But otherwise I think it may turn out to be a little bit of a grind to do that. Now they're basically the only ways that I know of to get bright dust at the moment. And if you are a very new player and you don't know what bright dust is used for, then as you can see just over here at the Eververse vendor, Tess Everis. She's basically like the vendor who you can buy stuff from with real currency as such. So say you wanted to buy a lot of items with real money, you'd buy it with silver, which is exchanged for real money from the store as such. 
but obviously you want to use your in-game currency, which is Bright Dust. So what you can do is you have a little look down here and how can I put this? She kind of has like a, a kind of rolling catalog of what's on offer. So kind of what's fell out of the shop sometimes and gone into the Bright Dust vendor. So just down the bottom is what you can actually get. And if you have a look, it's anything from vehicles to just over here consumables, shaders, and sometimes you can get things like ornaments so you can make your weapons look slightly different and in some cases really really good. I also believe if I remember correctly you can get things like emotes. And if you go down the side just over here you'll have a little look and scroll through it. As far as I can see the only one that you want to go to is that first one there where it'll be down the bottom and your fourth one just down here which is kind of your bright dust offers of the week as such. So if you have a little look, you've got five days, 19 hours left. So for example, this one you can get a hard light shell for your ghost, a new starship, a weapon ornament. So not, com not to be confused with an actual weapon, this just changes the looks of your weapon. So don't think that you're gonna be getting an exotic item from this, you won't, you're just gonna change the looks of it. This one's a ship, and so on and so forth. And there's the emote, like I said. And obviously down here you get things like transmat effects. So when you kind of spawn in, you will have a different effect. Some consumables and some shaders. But yeah, that's pretty much to summarize what you can actually do with Bright Dust as such. So. Hopefully that's helped you out a little bit. Obviously, if you're a long time gamer, this is nothing new to you and you've probably clicked off 10 seconds in, but hopefully this has helped a few people out because like I said, Destiny can throw a lot of things at you at once and sometimes it's easy to miss stuff. But as always, if you've liked the content, then why not hit that like button or leave a comment. And if you'd like to subscribe, then hit that subscribe button. As always, take care. I'll see you on the next day.